Hi, I want to show you a new device that we can put into a circuit. Uh, this blue thing is called a capacitor. Uh, the way I normally store it, I have one single wire with both ends just clipped onto uh, these two, uh, we call these terminals of the capacitor. So just like everything else that we've used in a circuit so far, uh, there are two separate places that I can connect to to put it into a loop. Uh, but you can't see inside the capacitor, so I want to show you how these things are constructed so you can understand what they are. Um, a capacitor is made out of, uh, all we really need is two things, two conductors that are not touching each other. So here is a piece of foil, and here is another piece of foil, and this is a really terrible version of a capacitor. I've got two conductors that aren't touching each other. Um, it's not a very practical version of a capacitor. Um, and what does that have to do with this blue thing? Well, if we're going to make one for real, um, then what we would do is we'll add in an insulator in between. So if I take these two conductors, then I can just put them right next to each other with this piece of paper in between. So these two, uh, these two conductors are not touching each other. Uh, and the way that I would make something like this is, well, if I add a second piece of paper, in this case, a second insulator, well, now I could just take this and roll it up And now, okay, those were a little too big. But now I've got two conductors that are not touching each other, um, but I rolled them up. And so now uh, I can fit it into a smaller space. Um, and this is how I made my a cylindrical sort of shape just like this and so this is a much larger and better designed version of what I made here and what I did a bad job of at the top I just wanted to have a part of each of these two pieces of metal the two separate pieces of metal um, sticking out separately from each other so like here I could clip on a wire here and this would be one terminal of the capacitor, just like this is one terminal of the capacitor. So these two terminals are uh, they're just connected on the inside to the two separate conductors. And so since on the inside it's all rolled up with insulators between them, then this is connected to one conductor inside, this is connected to a separate conductor inside, and they are separated by an insulator. So there is not a closed path uh, between this and this. So inside the capacitor, we have an open loop uh, because of the insulator in between. So what good is this? What can we do with this? Well, hold on for a bit and we're gonna figure that out starting with activity one. Thanks, bye.